Right then, so with uh, the gameplay, I have picked out uh, CSGO 2 because it's new and also this is a primarily a fast paced game. Now, yes, I've maxed it out completely 4K, all high settings, just so you guys can see what it looks like. Now, yes, you don't run this game like that because you, you're going to get some sort, uh, some sort of input lag and you it's gonna affect your reaction as well as your killing now so what i'm gonna do is well, i'm gonna practice because this is more taxing on your cpu so i'm gonna pick a map that i'm familiar with which is going to be dust 2 this is probably the best one and you're gonna probably hear the monitor speakers what i will say is they do sound great so oh. I don't know how well you're gonna pick it up on the on my mic, but they do sound rather good. I'm getting 180, oh, 100, no, 200 FPS. So that's the sound of the speakers. Let's turn this down now because this is more about the gameplay. As you can see visually, this monitor is absolutely stunning. The bass is fantastic. Yeah, it's only 144 hertz or 145, sorry. Yeah, for a monitor this price range. Uh, I would have preferred something a bit higher. It's Porsche, it's designed by Porsche. So of course you're gonna either be a fanboy of Porsche or you just want it for that wow factor because i will say it is it has that wow factor because it looks fantastic the base is solid metal and you know it's display hdr 1400 the highest hdr monitor i've had and what i will say is the hdr on this monitor is absolutely fantastic it looks amazing with hdr content and any game it does look fantastic i've played a couple of games that's got hdr and i will say the hdr experience is amazing the gaming experience it's good but i wish the frame rate was higher for this monitor but of course that's just one of them things and yes this monitor costs an absolute fortune 1900 pound that is awfully expensive for a gaming monitor and obviously if i was a post fanatic then i guess this would be probably the monitor for me but i wouldn't pay that kind of money because that's kind of ridiculous for paying for that kind of money so what i will say is this monitor is absolutely gorgeous it's mini uh, led you know it's 144 hertz it's got usb type c it's got hdr 400 it's it's ultra hd so 4k proper 4k monitor it's 32 inches which is probably the sweet spot for when it comes to gaming monitors and of course it's got all different types of functions it's got usb it's got type c hdmi it's got every bell and whistle except for the high refresh rate which i do think they missed an opportunity on this monitor now if they had gone for maybe 175 or maybe 165 hertz i think uh the buying decision would probably be a bit greater for some people but 1900 pound for a gaming monitor that's a, a yeah big chew at the swallow that is I'm, I'm sorry but that that kind of price it's out of my league i'm not worthy of it oh oh Right, so how does the response time feel? It feels very good, right? I don't get no objectors. There's no problems with it. Ah, yeah. Well, that's pretty much it. Let's get to talking. Right then, so, look, you've seen some uh, 
CSGO gameplay, like I've said, look, it's got HDMI, it's got DisplayPort, it's got Type-C. The only downgrade, I'd say, is the refresh rate, only 144 for a monitor you're paying £1,900 for. I'd expect it to be higher. The Mini LED, that looks amazing, the HDR 1400. That is the best HDR experience I've had with any monitor I've received. I've had OLED, and this looks fantastic with any HDR content. Now, when it comes to monitor reviews, like I've said in my previous videos, I don't do technical data because I don't have the equipment for it. I'm more, you give it to me for a week or two, I will use it, I will get the feel for it, and if I like it, then I recommend it. Now, this monitor, it's way out of my price range. Even if I was rich, I wouldn't buy this. I'd rather buy something a lot bigger, and it's maybe OLED. I would prefer that. Now, they have got an OLED monitor that is available, and I know for a fact that I've seen pictures, they've got a 44-inch curved monitor that's going to be OLED as well so I'd keep an eye on ALC but in terms of this monitor unless you're really a Porsche fanboy I wouldn't buy it really because despite it having like mini LED and stuff like that I can't really see the justification for the price yeah it might be designed by Porsche but that does not matter if this was does that mean that if it was designed by Ferrari or Lamborghini that the price would be three times as much not for a gaming monitor, I'm sorry, but you no, know, there's gaming chairs out there that are designed by Lamborghini and they don't cost literally thousands of pounds. You know, it's it's weird. This is the most expensive monitor I've actually had a look at, and of course it comes with a massive power brick. I mean that is huge. It's down there, it's like that thick, it's massive. It comes with all the accessories that you'd want with a premium gaming monitor. But the 144 hertz, I have got a problem with. When you're spending this kind of money, you would expect every single feature to be available for that price. And I'm sorry, but that isn't there. The refresh, yeah, look, right, it's got a mini LED, it's got everything else, but it does not matter. The refresh rate is abysmal for something at this price. Look, I don't, I don't know what your guys' thoughts on this monitor, but give me a comment down below. Remember, this is a review unit from AOC, so I'm just giving you my guys' opinion. The monitor looks amazing. It's got RGB at the back. It's Type-C. It's got all the features you want except for the refresh rate. 144, which I cannot recommend because if you're a gamer, you want the highest refresh rate for the best money. And they do have other options. They have other gaming monitors with higher refresh rates that cost literally one third of this price. Some of them cost £500, which that is something I could re recommend. But this is a monitor that I can't. Yeah, it looks visually stunning. The monitor is amazing. The color grading is fantastic. The HDR experience is absolutely amazing. If you want a HDR monitor, they've definitely got other hdr monitors out there so yeah bit of a letdown when it comes to 144 hertz the 24 the 27 inch model of this is actually higher refresh rate i believe that's 165 if it's not or if i'm incorrect i'll make sure to put it right but here so you guys actually know that one is actually a good price it's four to five hundred pound that was an amazing monitor it's basically this but a smaller version so yeah that's my review of this monitor. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And remember that I've got a UK giveaway going at the moment. If you go to Welshie Tech on Facebook, you will get more information right there. This is Rich for Welsh Tech. Good. Bye.